and doing another styling video. Um, so every week I pick a different trend or product or um, occasion and I do three different ways to wear. So this is my first occasion one that I think I've done. So I decided to do festival style. So I'm not sure if this will be my fourth or fifth. Basically I have done an Instagram poll which is live at the moment um, where I've asked what you want to see next. Is it festival or is it leopard print? So I'm just waiting on the results. So I don't know if you will see festival style first or if you will see leopard print style first. But either way, you will see both. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this top too, just quickly. It's got really ridiculous sleeves, um, which you would have seen in my haul. Um, but I love it so much because it's like the cutest crop top. It's just got ridiculous sleeves. Um, but you would have seen it in my pretty little thing haul, which I'll link here. Um, everything was amazing, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so I'm not going to go on too long because I want to show you these outfits. But if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do three videos a week. So on a Tuesday, we have a weekly vlog um, where I just take you around my life. Um, as a fashion blogger, I'm like full-time fashion blogger. Um, and also, while you're watching this, I'm filming ahead, so I'm trying to think last week's probably, or the week before, I would have been in Marbella. Wait, here's where I'm going tomorrow. Because like the beauty of these is that you can film them in advance. So yeah, I hope that doesn't make you mad. Does that make you mad that I'm like filming in advance? I'm just trying to like get ahead so that I'm not like panicking and I can like make them good. Do you know what I mean? So like you plan them out and do them ahead that you can spend time on things and make them better rather than being like, ah, I've got a bit of video life tomorrow, blah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> side track majorly all the time. Get used to it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so <laughs> weekly vlog on a Tuesday at 7pm. Thursday we have a styling video like this one at 7 p.m. Um, and then on a Sunday we have like a random video, so it could be anything from like a haul to my favourites to like a styling video or a lookbook. Um, or if people want to see more beauty tutorials, people have asked for them, but I feel like no one really watches them. But if it's something you guys want to see, then I'll definitely do it. So yeah, let me know. Um, and yeah, if there's any video requests for the styling, if there's anything you would rather see in my vlogs or if there's anything you want me to film or any like particular hauls you want me to do, just let me know in the comments below. So this week I have chosen to style festival styles. So I feel like um, festival style is quite generic and so I wanted to do it like how I would wear festival style. So I recently went to the Revolve Festival in Palm Springs and I know obviously that's like completely different to UK festivals. So there are a lot of um, festivals in like Spain and stuff that look amazing. Um, I'll link my vlog here actually so you can like see what I wore there because I have picked different outfits. Um, but yeah, I loved dressing festival style and kind of like doing my own take on it. So it wasn't like, because um, I'm a bit older too, so if I go to a festival I'm not going to be wearing but showing denim shorts and a crop top. I did wear denim shorts and a crop top one day. But I just feel like it's a bit different is what I'm trying to say and I've hopefully picked some outfits that will like inspire you guys um, and give you some inspo if you want to be like fashionable still out on the slopes I was just going to say, maybe out on the hills, out in front of Eminem playing. Um, but yeah, so these are my outfits, I'm going to stop lying. So outfit number one is a top that I did actually wear at the Revolve Festival and loved got so many compliments on it and honestly it's not something I would normally go for but it looked really cool um, and it is I'm just trying to figure it out to show you because it's really hard to show it's like this and um, so it's like a crop top so this is like a like boob bit and then you put your arms here so it's like a real cute like bardo crop top type thing um, and it's like yellow gingham it's really cute I wore it to the festival with white denim shorts and a bum bag and some chunky boots and it looked so cool so I'll put a picture here so that you can see that but then for the um, festival, for this festival like styling thing, um, I want to show you a different way to wear it. So I paired it with like a mismatched skirt. So this skirt's from Verge Girl, I love it so much. I will link a UK alternative because I know people aren't keen on shipping. Um, and I'll do the same for this because it's Revolve. Um, but everything that's like American, I'll try and link a UK alternative. Um, but yeah, just like comment in the description below if I haven't, or if you're in America and you want a US alternative, then just comment. Like, I'm happy to find things for people, but sometimes I just forget to do it off, like, off the start point or whatever you say. Um, but yeah, this looked really cool with um, that skirt. I thought it looked really cute and pretty. I added this backpack that I got from Zara in my Zara haul, if you haven't watched it here. Um, and yeah, I just thought it looked really cute. And then my gold cowboy boots, which I'm obsessed with. 
Oh, if you want me to style the cowboy boots, let me know. That's another trend that I'm like thinking of doing. At the end, I'll give you some options of things that you can pick from, and then you can comment below and let me know like which which things you want to style next, and we have a little fun poll. Um, but yeah, I thought this looked really cute. I loved the combination. I loved the mismatchedness of the prints, of the colours. I just think it worked really well. And I think like another way to upgrade your festival style is to just do something with your hair. Like I don't know what that noisy thing driving down my road is, but it's really annoying and it's not stopping. So I'm going to have to keep talking over it, but it's very irritating. Um, so yeah, you can just like do some keep plaits in your hair, like you could do glitter. I've seen when people do like braids and they put like gold... I've seen when people do braids and they put like gold hoops in, it looks so cool. So yeah, I think like you can sometimes pick, and I know this isn't a simple outfit, but I think you can sometimes pick like a really simple outfit and just like upgrade it with cool hair and accessories. The next outfit that I wanted to show you is something that I did actually wear kind of to the Revolve Festival but not. So I wore it in in Palm Springs but I didn't actually wear it to the Revolve Festival. Um, so I'll put a picture in and then I'll show you the outfit. Um, I actually styled it with different shoes I think. I put it with two burgers but I'm not sure. I filmed the cutaways yesterday so I'm having like real issues remembering what I style things with. I should have looked at them before this. I think I might put it with my two burgers or my Chloe boots. Maybe I put it with my Chloe boots. Anyway Either of them look really cool, you could wear it with either of them. So for my lovers and friends denim shorts, which are hands down the most comfortable, flattering shorts, and they don't show your bum, and they're comfortable, and they're beautiful. Did I mention that they're very comfortable? I got them in a waist 27, and I'm normally a waist 26 on Revolve. When I'm ordering a high-waisted skirts and shorts and things, and mainly shorts to be honest, and I know that I'm gonna to wanna to wear a crop top with it, I will make sure that I do not order my actual size, I order a size up, because I think shorts look cool when they're a bit bigger sometimes. And the last thing you wanna do is like create some kind of muffin top. It's not a good look, um, and you wanna be able to relax and not have to breathe in and stuff. So yeah, I don't, I make sure that I order a size up, which is a pro tip, because if you wanna fill up on hot dogs and burgers, you don't wanna be breathing in. Um, and then I wore it with this top, which you'll see in the video, because quite frankly, like, this is not showing it very well. Um, I also did a Revolve haul, which I'll link, so you can see, like, everything I got for the Revolve Festival. But anyway, I'm, like, majorly getting so attracted. This top and these shorts, I thought looked really cute. They're both blue. I love the, like, gingham. This is, like, a cami with, like, off-shoulder detail. I thought it looked really cute. I wore it with my bum bag, um, and it's just, like, kind of finishes off the look. Um, I just thought it was a really cool look and then just add some sassy sunglasses, a sassy hairdo and you are good to go. Then the final look I went for was a dress. I love dresses. I just think they're so easy to wear. They're great for festivals. You can just whip it up and go for a wee. Um, like in those disgusting toilets where denim shorts can be a bit tricky. Um, so I have got this dress, I can't show you it very well because it's just on a hanger, it's a wrap dress. But it's a really old dress I've had for ages from She Inside, I think it was £12, it's still like £12. It does take a while to come with She Inside but I think you can do express shipping and honestly, like, it's probably the best thing I've ever ordered from there because I've worn it so many times and it's just such a classic, like, I had it last year and I wore it loads and I'll wear it again this year loads and I just think it's kind of like year in, year out kind of jobby. Um, and then I'll style that with an uh, oversized denim jacket. I just think oversized denim jackets look amazing with everything. Um, and when you're wearing like a wrap dress like that, you want to have a little layer. And also like adding the denim just kind of gives that like a boho vibe, that kind of more relaxed. And I love it when they're oversized. So I normally order my denim jackets like two or three sizes bigger. So it looks like you've borrowed your boyfriend's denim jacket, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I put my bum bag on it too because it kind of like belts the dress and makes it look really cute and just like, yeah, I just think it adds that festival vibe. And then I put my Benziaga like super chunky boots, which just, yeah, finish it off. So it looks like all the black and the gold and the white and the denim. So very cute. So what do you think? Um, and let me know what your favourite look is too. Do you like the little mismatch skirt combo? Do you like the denim shorts? Are you like a denim short? lover for festivals do you think that's just like the only way to go i do think it's handy because you could just take like one pair of denim shorts and then like three tops um or do you like the dresses do you agree dresses are like the most easiest thing um i would love to hear your thoughts um and yeah i'd love to hear what your favorite look is so make sure you comment below one two or three or like one and two or one and three or three and two um and yeah we can like decide which one's best and if there's something else that i've like missed out that you're like that is an amazing thing for a festival 
make sure you comment below because I love to hear other people's opinions and like what you think is good because maybe I'm missing something huge. So before I go, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also let me know in the comments below what your, so make sure you like this video as well before anything else, I always forget to ask you to do that. Please like my video, it really means a lot to me um, and also comment below what you want to see next, what do you want to see me style next? Cowboy boots, my shrimp's handbag or wedding guest outfits, what do you want to see? Comment below um, and yeah, or if you want to see them all then comment but like comment in the order that you want to see them. So what do you want to see first? Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh, one more thing. Um, I also do a coinciding blog post for every um, video. So I will have a coinciding blog post with more festival outfit ideas, going into more why I think these good festival outfit ideas and also just like some more options and ideas and styles. So yeah, make sure you go and check that out. Um, and I will see you next time.